Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gamer Guy Seven Aces recording another video. Let's play Lego Harry Potter. It's five to seven. All right, this is year seven now. So this level, this year was so epic. Warner Brothers had to split it into two movies: Deathly Hallows Part One and Part Two. So this is Part One now. This is actually my favorite of his years. And that's the Dursley is leaving because Harry is not going back to Hogwarts. the bell. Yeah, please excuse my clock. Yes. Oh, there you have it. Oh, Voldemort. Now, I haven't seen Voldemort since year five, but he's back. Better than ever. Cut that because of my battery. is given to Harry. Now, I won't spoil it for you guys, but everything he gives to them is uh, is very important in the end. And Hermione's book Beal the Bar, but that's not important in this game. Ask Ron, always loving to eat. Alright. Now, the Death Eaters attack the burrow, so let's escape. Yeah. I'm Harry Potter. I'm more badass now than ever. Guys, don't mess with me. Look, I even skated on that box. Look, Ron's so badass, he blew up a pinata here. Huh, you know, I'll do that later. I don't need to do that now. Just breeze on through through this. Oops. Yeah, now Ron has the ability. You know, Ron really steps up his game in this whole year, you know. You guys will find out. From the Lumer to speaking parts of mouth is that's remarkable. Okay, melt. Now Hermione can use her bag now. Understandable extension charm. Can you see? She can use that now. Oops. No, I don't want that. my own spell. Not cool. Ah, uh, come on, Hermione. Yeah, that was a close one. Well, I've never seen that angle before. <laughs> that was weird. What was the camera trying to go under Hermione's dress? Gosh, like everyone wants to see under her skirt or something. Alright, next level. Yeah, we jump all the way from the wedding all the way to the graveyard of Godric's Hollow. I mean, this game really does not justice to part one of Deathly Hallows. You only play roughly two levels here. 
I mean, after Godric Tarlow, then the lake scene, then Malfoy Manor, then it's over. So, it, it skims through Deathly Hallows Part 1 pretty fast. Disguising themselves as Umbridge. Oh, Dementors. And finally, Harry does justice to Umbridge. And they got the locket. Umbridge was wearing it. It's funny how this game plays a Ron's anger. When the Horcrux. It doesn't explain it at all, really. But it's okay. See, it doesn't even explain how Harry winds up in Godric's Hollow with Hermione alone. Uh -huh. That is another story. <laughs> These cutscenes can go on forever, though. It's pretty long. Okay, I'm gonna burn through this very fast. You got one down, all I need is the rest. Oh crap, keep on getting hurt by that. Okay, got that one down. Yeah, you need to get three of those to get a character, but I already got all that. Three of the flowers. I'll just levitate them for you guys. Okay, now this is salt. Got us around this graveyard. Yep, need two more graveyards. Yeah, you need Hermione's cat, Milkshank, to get rid of all those rats. Something will appear. Yeah, I've already gotten a lot of the studs, obvious studs here, so I won't demonstrate to you guys or just tell you guys about it. So you can burn through this very fast. Yep. Air blow dry that coffin. Yeah, you know, th this game gets, like, c like really dark by this time. I mean, having a level in the graveyard. Yeah, see, I got three of those flower pots. That explains where I got that. Uh, I don't know what this snowman is for. I forgot. Oh. Yeah. You need to melt this one. Fire out of fire now. Yep, the Batilda back shot will appear. <coughs> Alright. Hopefully if everyone cut off in this cutscene it always likes to. Alright, now we're going in Batilla Backshot's house. Creepy old woman with a snake inside her. Please don't cut off camera. Of course, Harry's going to follow the creepy woman. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get through, through this part very quickly. By the way, see those spiders? If you get three of them... Crap. Oh crap, I was going to get it. If you get three of them, 
then that means you uh, get a character stud. So, yeah. See, see, look, I'm going to show you guys a demonstration of that. Yeah, right there. Get it? Got it? Good. Yeah, see, so you just need to get one more of them. You know, I, I already did all that, so. Snake Nagini. Then we get the idea that Nagini crashed us through the, this baby's room. You know, I used to think in the movies that this room used to be Harry's room when he was a baby. You know, it's not really explained except, you know. Yeah. I don't know, you guys tell me, this Harry's room when he was a baby or not? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need somebody to knock him down. Oh crap. Yes. Gotta put this in his mouth. All right, Nagini, eat this. Eat it. Uh -huh. Now brace yourself, fool. All right, come on, come on. You can do better than that. Come on. Can't catch me. Uh -huh. Oh, he can't. Ah, oh, shit. Oops, sorry guys, I cussed. <laughs> Holy flip. He's all dizzy and dazed out. Levitate that in your mouth. You know, this was really fun. Right, this part. Come on. Oh, come on. There. Last part. She's gone, not yet. Next chapter.